Hi everyone and welcome to the next video in the series on Grammar Basics where we're going to look at nouns. In the first video we looked at different types of verbs and we saw how every sentence has to have a verb and a subject, someone doing that verb in order to make sense. A sentence doesn't have to have a noun to be a full sentence but they are important too. They make up the majority of the words that we use in English. There are different types of noun, five that we will focus on and they are common nouns, proper nouns, abstract nouns, possessive nouns, and collective nouns. The common way of defining a noun as a person, place or thing is still quite useful to us but we're going to go into a little bit more detail here. Common nouns refer to most things. For example, cat, dog, pen, school, all of these are things, they are all nouns. Common nouns are common because they are non-specific and don't need capital letters. We don't need a capital letter for a cat when we say the man in the shop bought a cat. We don't need a capital letter for school when we say I love going to school. And we don't need a capital letter for pen when we say, for my birthday, I got a gold pen. When a noun is a proper noun, however, a capital letter is required. So when we move from just cat, any old cat, to my cat, Mr. Tiddles, then it becomes a proper noun and is now specific to one particular cat, Mr. Tiddles. Similarly, with the sentence, I love going to school, there is no need for a capital letter. But if it becomes, I love attending St. Bernard's College, it is specific and it needs capital letters. An abstract noun is a thing that is intangible. It doesn't physically exist. You can't touch it or put it in a drawer, but it is still considered a thing. Some examples of abstract nouns are hunger, capitalism, faith, love. These are in contrast to concrete nouns, things we can touch and feel, like a chair or a brush or a tree. A possessive noun tells us about who owns something or in whose possession it is. To create the possessive form of a noun, we usually have to add apostrophe s at the end of it. So for example, if we want to talk about the bike that my friend Dan has, I can't say Dan bike really fast. I need to say Dan's bike is really fast. The apostrophe s makes the proper noun Dan a possessive noun. And finally, collective nouns. A collective noun is one that describes a group of things. There's a huge variety of collective nouns. A team, for example, refers to a group of people playing sport together or working together. But some of the best known collective nouns refer to animals. And here are some examples. A flock of sheep, a troop of apes, a pod of dolphins, a swarm of wasps, a caravan of camels, a litter of kittens, and a pride of lions. But remember, Although the noun refers to more than one animal, one sheep doesn't make a flock, the noun itself is singular. So while we might say the wasps are coming in the window, we would have to say the swarm of wasps is coming in the window. So we've seen that there are broadly five different types of noun in English. A sentence doesn't need to have a noun to make sense. It does need a subject and a verb for that, but they are still important because they make up the majority of the words that we use in English. Remember, the five types are common noun, proper noun, abstract noun, possessive noun, and collective noun. I hope that you found this video useful, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Next in the series on grammar, we're gonna be looking at adjectives and adverbs. Please leave a comment if you have a question or a suggestion for other things that we might cover.